What is going on guys and girls? My name is James and welcome back today to the Shady Oaks SMP. How are we doing everyone? Welcome back, welcome back. Today you find us once again at Honeyco Farms. But this episode is going to be fun. So, I've got a bunch of stuff that we're going to do here. Firstly, we're going to go and play a very simple little pranky prank on none other than Dan TDM. And then after that, we're going to go big, we are going to go brave, we are going to go bold. We're going to go on an adventure. I'm terrified. So, uh, yeah, welcome back, everybody. Hopefully you guys and girls are doing awesome. Uh, yeah, if we could try and hit 1,500 likes on this episode here of Shady Oaks, that would be really, really awesome. Uh, thank you so much for sticking with the series and hanging out and checking out my perspective and all that kind of stuff. There's been so much crazy stuff going on in Shady Oaks over the past week or so. So I'll give you guys a recap and stuff as to, you know, what's been happening. Uh, but, yeah, currently in terms of my sort of side of things, what I've been doing is... Uh, I've been collecting the honey bottles for SB's massive order. So if you guys didn't know, basically SB has ordered 5,000 honey bottles from Honeyco Farms. Now, <laughs> it's not a case that we don't have 5,000 bottles. I think we're pretty close now. But annoyingly, I made like all of my bottles into honey blocks. So now I basically have to remake all the bottles uh, to actually deliver his order. So there's just like a couple of random shulker boxes full of honey bottles. I'm starting to collect it. I did the maths and I think 5,000 bottles is 11 and a half single chests full of 16 bottles each. <laughs> so it's a lot, but we're going to get a bunch of iron. And here's the thing, right? We're actually charging a really cheap price. So it's only going to be like two iron per 16 bottles. Now, you may think that's way too cheap. And to be honest with you, it probably is. But to begin with here, what I was thinking was, you know what? I'm going to fulfill this order because the iron that we get from that trade, we can use to bigger and better Honeyco farms because that iron is so many hoppers it's so many observers it's loads more mine carts it's loads more automated systems we could like double the size of our honey bottle production we could open up new farms we could triple it if we wanted to and I think for now even though that's a cheap price I still think it's good because it's going to give us loads of iron to expand the farm and yeah we're going to go big we're going to go better it's going to be good times. But that's not what this episode's about. So my plan today, after we do a little prank here, is... Um, what just happened there? <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> yeah, my plan is we're actually going to go to the end. Now, I've never properly explored the end since the last time that we went to just go and get one single pair of elytra. So I just wanted these elytra and I wanted to get out as quickly as possible. But... I've been seeing, like, SB, who's been going there and exploring it. I think Echo went recently, and he's been bringing back loads of elytras and crazy good gear. Uh, Squid went recently as well, and the more I leave it, and the longer I leave it, the more raided out the end gets. So today, hello, Bert. <laughs> today we're actually going to go and uh, to uh, explore the end, and we're going to hopefully try and find a bunch of good loot and try not to die. So I've been preparing. So basically, I've tried to use big brain tactics here. I have these like 64 blocks of redstone ore, which I think were from Justin technically. <laughs> um, and yeah, what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring a silk touch pick. So I'm going to bring unmined ore with me in case my elytras get low. And then I can use the XP from the ore to repair my elytras in like a dangerous situation. So I need to go and get some paper from my gunpowder farm. No, my... my my gunpowder farm. <laughs> my paper farm. <laughs> I've already went and bought three stacks of gunpowder from Justin's shop. Uh, I've got my ender chest ready. I've got a bunch of cooked chicken. Uh, and I'm just about to go and get an extra level to repair my boots. I've got my bow. I've got my silk touch pick. I've got my axe. And I've got my arrows. And I think that's probably all we need. I would love to have another shulker box, but I don't think I've got one that isn't full of honey bottles. <laughs> but that's okay. I think we're pretty prepared. Ah! The prank. Did you guys see yesterday's uh, stream event thing? But yeah, just to kind of let you know, when Shady Oaks goes up on my channel, it means we're pretty much, like, bang at, like, the right point. I know, like, there's a couple of, like, delays with, with the other guys' channels. I think Squid is, like, two months behind or something. <laughs> it's nuts. Uh, but, yeah, basically, like, Squid does this thing on Mondays now where it's, like, a, kind of a mini event on the server. Really, really fun. Uh, and yesterday's was a hunt. It was, like, a headhunter challenge. So me and Dan teamed up with that one because... I wanted him to get the points over SB because Dan has promised me a timeshare of the netherite piece if he wins it for 50 
points. So I think that was a pretty good deal. And I was like, you know what? I'm really far behind. I could go it for myself, but I'm kind of thinking I'm going to go for the next netherite piece. I'm not going to go for this one. Uh, but there was a headhunting challenge and me and Dan came across creamy horses. I think it's these ones. If you take the head, uh, it's called a creamy horse. And I just, I found that really amusing. So, uh, we're going to name all of his horses creamy. <laughs> creamy or creamy horse. I'm going to have to, um, liberate some name tags. And I know just the place for that. Uh, we're going this way. Now, not only did Justin have a crazy gunpowder farm, but he also had like an automated fishing setup. And if there's one place where you're going to find a bunch of different name tags, because <laughs> we're going to need like 20 of them or 20 or 30 of them, it's going to be at that place. So, of course, as I'm sure you guys saw, Justin, unfortunately, is no longer with the SMP. Uh, he decided to leave. I, I think it's a case of, you know, he he's just a bit too much uh basically commitment wise just for the videos and the live streams and his normal videos and his you know personal life and he just got a new dog and uh you know it, it just got a little bit too intense for him unfortunately and it does suck uh, i will miss him an awful lot on the smp but of course <laughs> if you guys saw the uh the law streams uh, that the boys did he went out with a bang <laughs> if you haven't seen it yet that's all i'm gonna say <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, so the, just to let you guys know, there's no like bad blood. We've not all fallen out, whatever. I, I still talk to Justin like every single day. Uh, we were talking recently, actually, like literally earlier today. Um, so yeah, it's all good in the hood. Um, but yeah, we, we have to unfortunately play without him. But don't worry, don't worry. We'll make him proud. Oh! Let's try that again, shall we? So uh, yeah, this is Justin's gunpowder farm. So the gunpowder isn't free. Uh, he made quite clear that no one is to take his gunpowder for free. We still have to pay one diamond for a stack, which I think is fair, to be honest with you. But he didn't mention anything to do with his automated fishing setup. <laughs> now, I bet there's some good stuff in here. Ooh. Oh, is that how it works? Yo, I've not seen it in action properly. Are you kidding? So yeah, right. If I remember correctly... So much gunpowder. Uh, in here, this is his automated fishing setup. And I think for the sake of doing this prank, I don't think Justin would really mind if we happen to liberate a few... Oh, look at the fish. <laughs> a few of his name tags. Where are the name tags? Where are the... Where are the... Wait, what? Oh, there they are! 24 name tags! Yes! Justin! Big boy! All right, that is perfect. Wait, I'm going to need a bunch of levels, aren't I? Should we call them all Creamy Horse? <laughs> I don't know why it makes me laugh. Uh, or just Creamy. I quite like Creamy Horse. Dan's Creamy Horse? No, that sounds like Screamy, doesn't it? Let's go with Creamy Horse. Right. Now we need to do another 23 of those. <laughs> BRB. Right, so I just spent 24 levels making 24 name tags that say Creamy Horse. So, <laughs> it's levels well spent. I'm sure you will all agree. Um, <laughs> this is the dumbest prank, man. <laughs> so yeah, there's, there's literally no backstory to this other than the fact that we were hunting for horses. And then there was a horse that was called Creamy Horse. And I just found that quite funny. So, uh, we are going to name all of his horses Creamy Horse. <laughs> Simple as that. Uh, hopefully we've got enough name tags. I did 24. Uh, creamy horse, creamy horse, creamy horse. Uh, we've got 16 left. I reckon we'll just about do it. Could you imagine if it was exactly 24 horses out here? Come on. Creamy horse, creamy horse, creamy horse, creamy horse. E-boy, creamy horse. <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh, creamy horse, creamy horse. Any more? Is it you? Alright, there must be one imposter in here. Uh, I, th I think we might have got the one. Oh, this one? Creamy horse? Come on, have we got... I think that might be it. Is that all the horses? It's really hard to tell. What about you? Oh, creamy horse? Creamy horse. Hey! Oh, dude, is it actually 24? <laughs> so what are the chances of us going to Justin's farm... Finding exactly 24 name tags, and then there being 24 horses outside his house. That's actually really weird, huh? Excellent. Well, job well done, I think. Did I miss one? No, I don't think I... 
<laughs> so dumb. All right, okay, so uh, let's get ready. Let's get prepared. So I'm going to go and make some more firework rockets. I'm going to go and take a bunch of those with me. Uh, I'm going to go and get my food. I've got my ore and a chest. Get rid of this rubbish. Oh, yeah, okay. I need a couple more levels to repair my boots. So let me just go and grab those quickly. And then we are off to the end. This could either go really well or not so well. I will tell. I think we're good to go. All right. I'm actually really nervous. So I've got my silk touch pick for my ender chest. All right. I've got just a bunch of protection for gear. Not the greatest gear in the world, to be honest with you. Um, I did lose some of my really good armor. We've got a little bit of thing to fix our elytra if we need to. Got a bunch of food. Whew, right. Um, now, the problem is I don't actually know the, the quick way to the end, so I might have to fly there. I think it was through the nether, wasn't it? Do we risk it? Hmm, maybe. <laughs> Let's sleep. Yeah, you know what? I'm not even going to risk uh, going through the nether because I know there's like a super quick way to get to the portal, but I can't quite remember how to do it. So <laughs> instead, what I think we'll do is we'll just fly there. Um, so I'm just going to do this really slowly. I don't want to wear out my elytra like any more than it has to be done. But I'm pretty certain I remember the way. We've been there a couple of times by foot. So it's over the race course. We go straight. Um, and then we turn right at the swamp, I think. It'll be fine. Don't worry about it. Oh, and he blocks. Okay, so I think the hole is somewhere around here really quick now to get here with elytras. The one thing that I didn't bring was ender pearls, but we use the little cobblestone technique to just grab a bunch. So not really a big deal. Uh, and I think the hole, the correct hole anyway, was somewhere up here. And then that will drop us back down into the stronghold. So uh, <laughs> where was the hole again? <laughs> it was somewhere here, right? Right, okay, and here we go. So, as I said, like, the, the main problem is going to be finding somewhere that people haven't already been. Um, so, when I went to the end, I went with Yami, and we found just one single ship, I think. Um, and I think I roughly remember what direction that was in. So, it seems like people have gone in that direction. I'm pretty certain we went this way. Um... I think. <laughs> I don't know. So yeah, I guess let the fun begin. I'm just going to fly around here for as long as I possibly can, and I'm going to look for ships. Uh, and I also just want to see if we can get some loot. So ideally, if we could get some mending loot, that would be huge. Yeah, these are our pathways, I think, from the first time that we went. So I'm probably going to follow this direction. <laughs> it may work, it may not. I guess we'll find out, huh? Oh, oh, first one, first one. Now, the big question, as I mentioned, is like, is it going to be one that someone's already been to? Or is it going to be a fresh one? I see a dragon head at the front. Uh, and I don't actually have one of these guys. So I'm going to take Jeremy. I'm going to grab it. Because why on earth not? Let me, let me, uh, yoink. <laughs> well, <laughs> not today. <laughs> Okay, well, we'll get one from a different ship. So yeah, this is the thing. Like, are these going to be fresh ones or are these going to be not so fresh ones? That is the big question. Oh, you jerk. Come on, pop your head out. Oh, it's a fresh one. Yes. Oh, man, that took like 10 seconds. Are you kidding? All right. Woo. Get out of here. Get out of here. Pat these back. Get out of here. Yeah. Our first Elijah. Oh, is that it? Okay, that was a bit of a stinker, not gonna lie. Uh, but, diamond protection helmet and a bit of iron. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right, we're off to a good start here, boys. We're off to a good start. Let's get all this stuff in the shulker box. Whew, right, next one. Actually, I'll tell you what, let's go and check out the building. There might be some better stuff. Boom! Yes! Fat stacks! Mending leggings! Yes! <gasps> and a mending chest plate! What? What? This is my first chest that we've done. Well, technically my second one. What? Oh, big boys. All right. You know what? These are going straight in the ender chest. Uh, mending leggings and a mending chest plate. Decent pickaxe as well, but... Dude, are you kidding me? I guess we'll take the gold as well. I am very happy with that. Okay, cool. Um... <laughs> I came for mending gear, and I've already got two pieces. So, unfortunately, the chest plate is useful, but not as useful these days because everyone's using the elytras, but I am very happy with that. Now, the one thing that I'm never too sure about in these places is I don't actually know how many loot chests are in them. Um, I would assume maybe a couple, 
but... Ow. <laughs> uh, I guess we'll have a little look-see, although... I feel like we've already got so lucky. Yes! Yes, lads! Okay, so I don't think I'm seeing anything else left in this chest. Uh, so I think it might just be a case of uh, pick a different direction and go. Um, but yeah, we're off to a really good start. So I'm very, very happy with that. Um, now, the big question is, where was the boat? It was here. We came from this direction. So we're going to go this way. Dude, too many pieces in one chest? Are you kidding? Okay, things are a little bit intense in this place. Uh, this place kind of sucks, <laughs> but there's two loot chests. So I'm just gonna try and bat these things away. Just get into the loot chest. Uh, oh, geez. I've got no space. Uh, 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 we should be okay. Let's eat. I'm not bothered if we take hits because we've got decent enough armor. Let's go and put this down. All right, let's go and take the Frostwalker boots. These are my first Frostwalker boots, actually. Pretty happy with that. Okay, this one is a bit of a stinker compared to the other ones, but... Uh, oh, jeez. Okay, you know what? Let's put a few of these fireworks away, because we literally can't get anything out of these chests. What was that? Protection. Do we need all of this stuff? Mm, I guess we could take it. Uh, let me put that there, that there, that there. Uh, God, these places make such weird noises, huh? <laughs> I've never quite weird, like realized how creepy they are. All right, boom. Okay, we're out of here. So this was just a random one. Um... I know I broke that with a pickaxe. Please don't shout at me. Uh, let's uh, uh, let's go a different direction. Uh, which way are we going? Which way do we come from? I should really be checking my coordinates, shouldn't I? I'm going to get so lost. Uh, I think we came from this way, so we're going to go this way. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Another one. Another one. Uh, okay, so once again, I have no idea, but I've actually taken direction now of which direction I'm going. Oh, 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 okay. <laughs> so I guess one of the easy signs to tell is if the dragon head is here, then then maybe it hasn't been visited. Why can't I grab this? Grab it. Grab it. Yes. Okay, that's my first dragon head. I can add that to my wall. Yeah, if the dragon's here, then maybe it's been looted. If it hasn't, then maybe it's happy days. So this could be a brand new one. Is it? Is it? Is it? Yes, it is. Yes. Okay, this is good news. This is good news. This is good news. Boom. So I'm not too bothered about getting like a bunch of elytras. I think I would like to have a couple spares just in case, but I'm mostly concerned about um, getting some looting, uh, some uh, mending gear. Okay, momentary, and I'm breaking shovel. Okay, uh, and <gasps> a mending helmet. What? <laughs> Dude, we are kitted out. Are you kidding me? All right, not gonna lie. We are getting so lucky here. This is ridiculous. So if we could get a mending sword... I mean, this supposed to be perfect. <laughs> We've got the boots, the chest plate, and the helmet in like three chests, which just seems a little bit ridiculous to me, but... I'm not going to complain. Uh, now we need to go and find the, the loot chest. So I'm not too sure. I, I swear, like, they probably have, like, layouts and stuff as, like, where to actually find the chests. But I myself am not 100% sure, so I think we might just just have a little look, I guess. Can we just pop into the ceiling? Maybe this is a good way of doing it, or maybe it's, oh, maybe it's a terrible way of doing it. I'm not sure. <laughs> you know what? Let's just go. Ah, okay, loot chest room, loot chest room, loot chest room. Nice, 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 nice. Okay, so we could use the levitation to get up there. That tends to be what I do, but we can just get rid of a couple of these guys, maybe? Come on, get out of here! Okay. Nice, 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 nice. Oh, Jesus, a lot of these things. Okay, you know what? Let's use the levitation to get up here. Let's take down these guys. Come on, knock, knock. Who's that? It's the axe of pain. Come on, get out of it. Oh, jeez. All right, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Don't panic. I feel like if you panic, it's going to make it worse. <laughs> all, right. all right, all right, all right, all right. Oh, Jesus, there's a lot, isn't there? There's a lot to handle here. All right, you know what? Let's just look. Okay, not so good, this one. Not so good, this one. A uh, bunch of ingots. Let me grab these. So I've taken down the coordinates. I saw one of the return beacons. So I've taken the cords down. So at least we have like an easy exit. But I'm heading west. And I can't quite remember because I swear someone said that they went west already. But already the first three that we found, two have had ships. So two elytras and three pieces of mending in like four loot chests. Well, maybe five. That's nuts. Including two mending in the same chest. <laughs> I'm happy. So I think, you know what? One more mending, maybe like a pickaxe would be awesome, or maybe like a sword or an axe. I tend to use the axe a little bit more often. I'd be very happy with that. That would be a good day's of looting. Maybe not in quantity, but quality.
And it's quality that we're after. Ah, efficiency four shovel. Efficiency five? An efficiency five shovel, but with Curse of Vanishing? Dude, you know what? Efficiency five? I am taking that, man. That's going to be so good for getting, like, all the sand. Uh, it doesn't... Oh, we can put unbreaking on it, so not a huge deal. Uh, a couple of diamonds. Yeah, let me grab that. Let me grab this stuff. Yes, a loot chest. Big boy loot chests. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. So you know what? We can actually play this a little bit more tactical. Maybe it's the secret just to drop in at the tops. Because I feel like it can solve a lot of our issues. Yeah, it's two arrows to take these guys down, so I think it's much better to use arrows. We are floating, which is not exactly ideal, but... Uh, uh, I guess we'll just park ourselves here for now. We're going in, we're going in, we're going in. All axes blazing. Get out of it, you jerk. Ugh. Oh, jeez, oh, jeez, oh, jeez. We should be using the arrow. The arrows are better. Use the arrows. Come on, pop your head out. Get out of here, get out of here. All right, okay. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Fire protection. Respiration. Smite sword. Mm, okay, not as good this one. All right, we're out of here. We're out of here. Let's, let's, let's blow this joint. Let's get out of here. Uh, rockets. Go! Oh, another one, and it's a bit of a whopper. Dude, this one's huge. Wow, okay, all right. So, I don't know. I feel like I'm not too sure when we should just call it quits because we've done very well so far. Um, those would probably be useful, actually. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've done really, really well. So, once again, another unraided area um, and a bunch more loot chests. So, I think mm, this one's a big boy keep missing this guy, which is really annoying. Get out of it. Oh, dude, come on! Stop being a jerk. Yeah, there you go. There you go. Right. Moment of truth. Three, two, one. Ah, we've got some iron stuff. Some beets. Not a bad sword, though. <laughs> Mending iron leggings? Wow. Okay. Alright, last one. It's just a baby one. It's just a really, really small. I don't even think... Is there even going to be a loot chest in here, to be honest? It's tiny. Um... I'm not too convinced. Um, is there even going to be one in here? Where would it be? Mm, I think this might be a sign for me just to cut my losses, you know? <laughs> well, not my losses, cut my gains. Big gains. All right, you know what? You know what? All right, we're out of here. We're out of here. We're done. We're done. So for one day, we're done. We're going to bank this. We can definitely come back. because This is really fun. Um, so... <laughs> now the only thing is, we need to get out of here in one piece. I do have some coordinates for one of those escape portals. So I think I should probably go and follow them, huh? Ooh, or we don't even have to go that far. Yes, we found one, we found one. It's kind of low down, but where is it? Okay, it's down there. Okay, <laughs> so this is good news, this is good news. All right, let's get down there nice and safe. And whoop, we out of here. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so you know what? Very successful trip. I'm going to jump into the middle bit. That should take us exactly back to Shady Oaks. Woo! Oh, yes. All right, I'm happy with that. And we're back to beautiful, rainy Shady Oaks. Yes! <laughs> okay, this is really, really good news. So, uh, we managed to pull a Mending Diamond Helmet. A mending diamond chest plate. Mending diamond leggings. No boots, unfortunately. But there's always another time. Bunch of diamonds. Bunch of random iron gear with some mending stuff on. Uh, and some elytras. Oh, yeah. We've got this as well. This shulker box. <laughs> All right. You know what? I am very happy with that. So, unfortunately, I think that's going to be about it for this episode. But, yeah. Stay tuned for more Shady Oaks. And I'll see you guys in the next one. So, until then, thanks. And see ya.